Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to episode number 12, where we are modding the Squire Sonic Series Bronco Bass to make it as good as we can get it. In this episode, I have created a stunt double for my short scale custom F Bass VF4. How does the Bronco compare? Let's find out. So the original idea for this series came from me wanting to create a backup bass for my custom short scale F Bass VF4. Now, I don't really like the term backup bass because I don't want to hurt the Bronco's feelings, so I've kind of adopted the term stunt double. Now, I don't really play dive bars anymore. I did in my student days where we played pretty dodgy venues. But now, I wanted a bass that kind of mimicked the tone, mimicked the output, but allowed me to play outdoor gigs or quick rehearsals where it's kind of a grab and go and if I needed to leave the bass in the van for you know, extended periods of time, either before or after a gig or a rehearsal, then I didn't need to quite worry and fret quite so much about leaving such a valuable one-off bespoke instrument in the van. So that's where the idea came from. What was really important for me and my needs is I wanted to mimic the output levels. I have all my patches all pre-programmed in my Line 6 Pod Go, so I wanted the same output level from both bases, so I didn't need to rewrite a whole other set of patches. This way, I'm hitting all the effects all in the same fashion, so I'm sending a very consistent output to the board. So underneath the finish, these two bases have very little in common, aside from both having a maple neck. The F bass has an alder body and an ebony fingerboard, whereas the Bronco is a poplar body with the maple board. The scale lengths are also different. The F bass is a 30.75, whereas the Bronco bass is a 30 inch scale. Now this F bass originally came to me with an Aguilar 4P60 precision style pickup in it, but I've since replaced it with a vintage Japanese uh, Fender that I had in a 1983 Fender precision bass. Now, it's a bit of a long convoluted story as to how this pickup uh, came out of that fender, but I kept it all these years, and now it has found a new home in my F base. So what I've done to the Bronco is, by chance, I had uh, another made in Japan uh, fender precision pickup uh, kicking around, so I ended up installing that in this base here. I ended up replacing all of the electronics to brand new CTS 250K audio taper pots. I put uh, an orange drop uh, 47 microfarad capacitor in it and wired to a brand new Switchcraft output jack. I had this custom pick guard made for me by the eBay seller Earl Palance, and I featured that in a previous episode. I ended up shielding the entire pick guard. Uh, but I did not shield the cavity because what I found is all that copper tape kind of muted the highs a tiny little bit. It's very, very subtle. Uh, so I ended up only shielding the pickguard and when I A-beat it, it didn't really make a difference in terms of noise. Now with the humbucker in here, this Bronco is now dead quiet. I've recently been experimenting with different strings on the F-Base as well. This F-Base is now about nine or 10 months old and it's really opened up and taken on a kind of a slightly different voice. So as such, even though it came to me with Tomastic Infeld flat wounds, it now is sporting Fender short scale round wound nickels, gauges 95 to 40. So to follow suit, I've strung the Bronco up with the same type of strings. Let's put this modded Bronco to the test. So for this playing example, we're gonna have three passes for each bass. One with the tone knob at 25%, one at 50, and then the third with a tone knob at 75%. Let's go.
I hope you enjoyed that playing example. Please let me know what you thought of the tones by leaving a comment below. First impressions. The output from these two basses are very similar and there was no level matching in this playing example. Overall, I felt that this modded Bronco came surprisingly close to the F bass. In terms of tone, I thought it was closer with the tone knobs at around 25 and 50%. With the tone knob at 75, they started to sound a little more different. Now, the F bass played quite a bit more evenly uh, and was a lot easier to play and was much more effortless to play. And I think that's just good old Canadian craftsmanship that went into this bass that uh, accounts for that. Now, the Bronco is no slouch, but in terms of ease of playability, I think the F bass will win hands down on that one. But that is very hard to demonstrate in a video. You just have to have your hands on the instrument to really appreciate how easily the space plays. Now in terms of evenness, especially up on the G string, I felt this Bronco had a bit of a weak G string and I'm wondering whether or not it would actually benefit from having a 45 gauge G string instead of a 40. Maybe the slightly heavier top string might help even and balance things out a tiny little bit. In terms of sonic complexity, if you listen to the open low E on all the playing examples, you would hear a lot more kind of harmonic complexity and overtones and more uh, kind of much more of a growly mid-range in the F bass compared to the Bronco. Now that might be down to the pickups, but it also uh, might be down to the different woods that are used. That is high quality alder that went into the F bass. And maybe that's contributing to some of the harmonic complexity that is found in this bass, but not in the Bronco. Overall, I'm quite happy and very surprised by how close I've been able to get this modest Squire Bronco bass to my beloved F bass custom short scale. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you next time. Peace.